I know the one in whom I have believed, and I am sure that he, the just judge, the mighty, will keep safe what is my due until that day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, Amen. and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who taught the whole world through the preaching of the Blessed Apostle Paul, draw us, we pray, nearer to you, through the example of him whose conversion we celebrate today. And so make us witnesses to your truth in the world, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul addressed the people in these words, I am a Jew, born in Tarsus in Cilicia, but brought up in the city at the feet of Gamaliel. I was educated strictly in our ancestral law and was zealous for God, just as all of you are today. I persecuted this way to death, binding both men and women and delivering them to prison. Even the high priest and the whole council of elders can testify on my behalf. For from them, I even received letters to the brothers and set out for Damascus to bring back to Jerusalem in chains for punishment those there as well. On that journey, as I drew near to Damascus, about noon, a great light from the sky suddenly shone around me. I fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to me, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? And I replied, Who are you, sir? And he said to me, I am Jesus the Nazarene, whom you are persecuting. My companion saw the light, but did not hear the voice of the one who spoke to me. I asked, What shall I do, sir? The Lord answered me, Get up and go into Damascus and there you will be told about everything appointed for you to do. Since I could see nothing because of the brightness of that light, I was led by hand by my companions and entered Damascus. A certain Ananias, a devout observer of the law and highly spoken of by all the Jews who lived there, came to me and stood there and said, Saul, my brother, regain your sight. And at that very moment, I regained my sight and saw him. Then he said, the God of our ancestors designated you to know his will, to see the righteous one and to hear the sound of his voice. For you will be his witness before all 
to what you have seen and heard. Now, why delay? Get up and have yourself baptized and your sins washed away, calling upon his name. The word of the Lord. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Glorify him, all you peoples. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. For steadfast is his kindness toward us, and the fidelity of the Lord endures forever. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. you from the world to go and bear fruit that will last, says the Lord. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus appeared to the eleven and said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons. They will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate the feast of the conversion of St. Paul, and it is celebrated with such a great momentum, a great turn for the Holy Catholic Church. Whereas St. Paul was converted, he was able to be that great missionary in the church, going everywhere so that people might receive the gospel. That is not to say that the other apostles didn't do similar works, but for St. Paul, it was that great fervor for the gospel, as well as that great witness as a miracle for his very life. To say how it was transformed from one persecuting the church to one proclaiming the church, one going out so that all might receive. For us, it is a reminder to us that through the great grace of God, we are able to be converted, we are able to be transformed in those different moments of our lives. And for those who continue on the path, which is fantastic, we can see in St. Paul that great uh, continuous, that great struggle to continue to preach the gospel, especially during those many persecutions that he had in his life, whether it was jails, shipwrecked, whether it was all those different sufferings that he had to endure, that being on that path towards the Lord, being on the path so others can hear that gospel message was so important that St. Paul was able to endure all that through the grace of God so others might receive. So we are able to see that full extent, that we are able to have that conversion and we're able to have that consistency, that drive that St. Paul has through the great grace and love of God. Let's continue to pray now and always through the intercession of St. Paul that we might continue to strive as he did, continue to know the Lord in our lives as St. Paul did, so that we might continue on doing that good work of evangelization, that good work of bringing all to the Lord. 
attentive to Christ's voice along the way. Let's offer our prayer petitions to our Heavenly Father. For upright bishops, humble priests among church leaders, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For fearless preachers and wise teachers of the good news, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For inspired confessors and patient guides for the faithful, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For gentle healers and spiritual physicians to accompany the sick, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our For faithful companions and honest friends to share the road to life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for Josephina Delgado, who we are at this Mass today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For beloved departed and unknown saints, welcome into God's light, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for your own intentions. Lord, Help us be the bearers of the fruit of the Holy Spirit in our daily lives. Love, peace, joy, patience, kindness, gentleness, faithfulness, generosity, and self-control. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this prayer and the prayers and sounds of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our Risen one, your light reveals when we fail to walk faithfully along the way. Give us the courage of our brother Paul, that at those times we may turn from oppressing you and instead serve you in all whom we meet. For you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. By mistress, water and wine, we're going to share it to you, Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, will become our spiritual drink. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we celebrate the divine mysteries, O Lord, we pray, may the Spirit fill us with the light of faith, with which you constantly enlighten the blessed Apostle Paul for the spreading of your glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds, to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels, archangels, with thrones and minions, with all the hosts of powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Amen. 
holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. By the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give me thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, to have with Francis our Pope and Blaise our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, St. Hugh, St. Paul the Sixth, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. By the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we would be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. But I in our sins bound the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Amen. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I live by faith in the Son of God, who has loved me, and given himself up for me. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, stir up in us what fire of charity, the fire of charity, that fire of charity with which the blessed apostle Paul burned ardently as he bore his concern for all the churches. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Amen. Bow down for the blessing. May God, who has granted you to stand firm on apostolic foundations, graciously bless you through the glorious merits of the Holy Apostle Paul. Amen. May he who endowed you with the teaching and example of the apostles make you under their protection 
witnesses to the truth before all. Amen. Amen. So that through the intercession of the apostles, you may inherit the eternal homeland, for by their teaching you possess firmness of faith. Amen. May the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Amen. Today let's pray a Hail Mary for the needs of our church, of our community, and of the world. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. To this great prayer to our mother and mothers. Mother and mother, who is holy queen, chosen before all women to be the mother of the Son of God. God. Mary, my mother, who in your maternity have so sanctified the state of holy mother. Imploring thee, I come to you. Humbly, I beseech you. Confidently, I trust in you. I know that you can, by your own powerful intercession, help me with my need. In you, I take refuge, dear Virgin. For in thee, I place my hope entirely in you. I pray for you all confidently in your hands. Betray not my humble trust, but hear my petitions and come to my aid. Dear Mother of Mothers, Amen. Mother of Mothers, pray for us. Thank you.